This can is all the money, but will it be all the flavour? Let's find out as we tackle m and Irish Stew. So we have tender pieces of lamb with potatoes and vegetables in gravy. You can microwave it or you can hob it. I'm going to hob it for about five minutes. So here it is my friend, straight after it's hobbing. All right, let's have a closer look at this thing. So this is what your 400 grams of Irish stew looks like. We have 30% lamb in there. We also have 15% potatoes, 14% carrots. And they're all swimming around in this kind of P.E. thick sauce. I've got to say that the potato is rather chunky, as are the carrot pieces. The lamb comes in small bits as well as big bits. There's a piece of it right there. Can we all see the face at the bottom? Looking to the right, grinning. Let's open it up, see what it's like inside. Well, that just fell apart. So I'm hoping for some tender meat action. The mush factor. Wasn't having any of it. Just leaving this bit of pulled off meat on the back. Overall, I'd say it's looking rather nice. We have this kind of yellowish spud and the orange carrots with the greens in there. So it's looking like a colourful affair of which I must get involved. Now then, if you want to see a real live issue being made, one of my subscribers has set up her own channel and it's literally her first video cooking an Irish stew. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and watch Food From Afar. <laughs> okay, quite well, messed it up, didn't it? Right, I'm gonna try one of the potatoes first on this one. All right, here we go. Has a nice consistency. Yeah, a decent bit of bite, nothing mushy about that potato. But you know what? I can taste rosemary, a little bit of bay leaf already. So let's get into a carrot next, see what happens there. The carrot itself was nice, sweet, beautiful bite on it, cooked just right actually. But again, rosemary. Right, I've got a massive spoonful of lamb next. I can just about taste the lamb. Only just about though, because like I say, I hate to keep repeating this, but rosemary gets in the way. Okay, let's see how the stock goes. Yeah, you've guessed it. <laughs> Do you know what? It's a little bit sweet, what with the lamb and the carrots and that rosemary. So, let's see if we can take the edge off that rosemary with a bit of salt. Stir that stuff in. So finally, a big mouthful of everything salted. Didn't do much really. <laughs> Brought the rosemary a little bit closer to my nasal pastures, I'll give it that. Do you know what? Every mouthful, had that tinge of bay and rosemary, which is not good because I couldn't taste the meat properly. I couldn't taste the vegetables properly. Plus that sauce, I'll be perfectly honest with you, it reminds me of a big soup sauce, the flavor, strangely. I think considering how much this costs and it doesn't taste anything like a good homemade Irish stew, which you'd think it would do from m and you know, for that much money. I think it only deserves two out of 10 to the last bite. Hmm, so m and Irish stew, what a load of rubbish. The person who taste tested that, you know, rosemary must be their favorite food stuff, you know, for it to get into a can and get on the shelves. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Did that just go bang over there? Oh, so this is what your 400 grams of Irish stew. Uh, so this is what you thought, 40? Hey. <laughs> Let's hope 